Hello guys, welcome back to Differential Diagnosis Series with Dr. Arshit Nadeem Awan. Hope you are all okay, hope you are all enjoying. And as you know, we are discussing differential diagnosis for the different pathological processes which we can appreciate on the ultrasound. So liver is the topic and uh, liver calcifications uh, are very common. Many a time you come across multiple calcification within the liver parenchyma. And many a time, most of the clinician ignore all that thing consider it that there is nothing to uh, discuss about because it happens to be benign you're very right and absolutely fine but uh, before uh, that if you miss that and you're not put into uh, on your report so the another clinician or uh, another uh, colleague might think that you have not seen all that and uh, this might not good uh, this this might not cast a good impression on the other so it's not a question of impression it's actually the question of the disease processes and your understanding and helping your gp your surgeon and your other colleagues to uh, look to the matter in the different view so far the splenic uh, sorry the liver calcifications are concerned liver calcifications are uh, depend upon its sizes sometimes there are tiny calcification, multiple tiny uh, nodular calcification, round calcification. You can come across with any of the granulomas, especially histoplasmosis, tuberculosis. These are our granulomas, which usually involve the liver and in later life, it become calcified and uh, start appearing on the liver parenchyma as a calcific, uh, or, or as a calcific foci. In curvilinear, if so far the cysts are concerned, especially in, uh, in, uh, Hydrated cyst, there are curvilinear calcification, and you can also appreciate this. In case of any vascular abnormalities, calcific, uh, calcific uh, vascular um, wall, it will also appear as a curvilinear, and there are many others. For example, if there is any solid or cystic tumor, especially in solid tumor, within the tumor, there are some sort of a calcification may appear like a popcorn calcification or maybe like uh, uh, sun um, uh, or sun rays speculation. So these are difficult, different pattern which you can appreciate on the ultrasound imaging and which will help you towards a particular diagnosis. If these are small or tiny, there's a granulomas. If it's curvilinear, so this may be a, uh, like hydrated cyst. If it is within the tumor, so it also suggests some benignity of the tumor or sometime in few cases in malignant potential there is also certain calcifications as well in sun rays or speculation it shows some other entities so these are all the differentials of the uh, liver calcification i have given the list and uh, on the list i have also given narration as well so there are quite a few you can just pick off, uh, all of these and uh, pick some of your interest and when you are scanning and you come across with liver calcification just start writing down <clears throat> in your differential and hopefully this will be a very effective report so let's start watching video differential diagnosis of the hepatic calcifications are as ender it depends upon its size and it also depends upon its multiplicity so if there are multiple and small rather you would call it a tiny calcification this would be likely healed granulomas like post tuberculosis they will be tiny calcific foci scattered within the liver parenchyma in histoplasmosis uh, well histoplasmosis is a, a common one both tuberculosis and histoplasmosis are the primary differential while the less common one is brucellosis uh, cochidiodomycosis and especially when there is two centimeter less in size uh, this would be due to brucellosis sometimes there may be solitary calcific foci and this would be secondary to calcific granuloma so these are three important differentials if you come across either multiple or small solitary foci this could be due to tuberculosis or histoplasmosis always put these two on the top and take the history of the patients as well while in less common they will be brucellosis and if there is solitary this could be likely solitary granuloma in case of curvilinear calcification within the hepatic parenchyma always consider hydrated cyst because of the hydrated cyst there will always be calcified wall uh, not always because sometimes uh, this cystic lesion if in a primary stage 
will appear simple cyst or maybe with the internal low level echoes or with the daughter cyst or with the water lily sign but uh, when it grows older the wall of the hydrated cyst will get calcified and on the ultrasound image you will be able to see curvilinear calcification because of the calcification and its shadowing sometime it will obscure the entire lesion so you have to be very careful if you come across large linear calcification so it will obscure the real tumor which would be hydrated cyst so consider hydrated cyst if you come across with curvilinear calcification in the liver parenchyma in case of, in case of abscesses, abscesses uh, when it is uh, in resolution form uh, you will be able to see curvilinear calcification and in amoebic abscess it is very common usually amoebic abscess uh, seen in a right lobe and uh, right lobe is most frequently affected uh, but calcific foci which would be in curvilinear form usually it involves the outer lining of the abscess so it will appear as an curvilinear calcification so consider abscesses as well and the patient history will also be help you to find the diagnosis uh, for the maybe calcification the another important uh, entity is calcified gallbladder which is called as porcelain gallbladder this is actually not the calcified it's the wall of the gallbladder will get calcified and as a result you won't be able to see clearly gallbladder uh, but uh, this long curvilinear calcification will suggest that this is uh, porcelain gallbladder and this has a strongly association with the carcinoma so whenever you come across with the calcified wall gallbladder this uh, would be considered as a porcelain gallbladder and always advise further imaging further workup for any suspicion or query of the carcinoma certain hepatic mass uh, do have calcification intratumoral calcification and uh, this could be seen in case of metastatic uh, diseases in metastatic or um, of colloidal carcinoma especially from the thyroid uh, there are calcified mats within the liver or there will be metastatic deposit but having central calcification or if there is cancer of the rectum or colon or stomach so these all give rise to calcified foci within the tumor sometime there will be a large uh, calcific foci popcorn calcification or it may appear like a uh, uh, mean uh, a tiny punctate calcification so different type of the calcification would be seen or amorphous, amorphous calcification or uh, flaky calcification so this would be a different pattern but this all calcification would be within the uh, tumor so you have to look for the tumor first and then after that if there is calcification so these are all the differentials for the uh, calcific foci within the mass and especially in the liver area in the hepatic adenoma calcification uh, may be seen but uh, very rarely this calcification would be punctate or maybe uh, stippled or in a granular form uh, which would be uh, a bit difficult to see on the ultrasonography but if you pay attention within the lumen or within the parenchyma of the mass you will you may be able to uh, pick these types of the calcification so for the masses are concerned in the metastatic deposit calcification may take place in the adenoma there is a chance of calcifications as well some raised speculation has a particular radiological pattern uh, it would be uh, coming out like a sun rays small punctate branching uh, from the main calcific foci and this uh, could be seen in hemangioma uh, especially in hemangioma x-rays and ct may be helpful but on the ultrasound you can also pick this calcification as well sun rays calcification sun rays speculation calcific foci can also be seen in metastatic deposit and uh, this is uh, seen this could be seen in colloidal carcinomas while adenoma may also give rise to sun rays speculation so these were the list in which you have to focus on the size and site and type of the calcification which will be helpful for shaping your differential diagnosis